Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and today I'm bringing a book review of Slappy's Tales of Horror, uh, four short story uh, stories from Goosebumps in graphic novel format. The Goosebumps series is written by R.L. Stein and these four stories have been adapted by four different artists, namely Dave Roman, Gabriel Hernandez, Ted Neifer and Jamie Tulagson and the stories have been coloured by Jose Garibaldi. I'm bringing you another video for my holiday location, in case you're wondering. These are four horror stories and they're in for children. I read quite a few Goosebumps books when I was a child and also later in life because I like them a lot. And I also really like a lot of Errol Stein's other books such as the Summon the Point Horror series, Summit Fear Street series, etc. I hadn't read these stories before. Um, I, 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 I don't remember really seeing any Goosebumps short stories before um, in the Netherlands because as a kid I could not understand English all that well. I didn't read English of course. So I read the books translated in Dutch if that's Kippervel. And so we I was dependent on what was translated. Um, only that I could read as a kid. And of course not all the books were translated. There are also some untranslated ones. Anyway, so I hadn't read these short stories before. This is a graphic novel and each of the stories have a unique art style because they're all drawn by different artists. So this is the four short stories. I don't know if you can really, you probably can't really see that. Um, so the first short story is called A Shocker on Shock Street. This is about two children who are going to test a ride in a movie studio theme park. And I'll show you some of the art. I don't know if can capture a little. It's kind of dark. But I feel like it fits the theme of the story. Now the second short story is called The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. And I'll show you some of the art as well. And the third short story is called Ghost Beach. And I don't know if you can see it all that well, but this is the art for that. And the last short story is called Night of the Living Dummy. It's an origin story of Slappy, but I hadn't actually ever read that one. Maybe it's translated, I don't know. I haven't read all of the ones that were translated, so. Well, this is some of the art for that. Now, I quite liked reading these four short stories. I will say, having read so many Goosebumps, stories I felt like I could predict a couple of things um, mostly in like I, I didn't I, I the first story was quite um, unusual I didn't guess that one um, but the other three stories had some plot twists that I have seen before in other stories or maybe I've actually read them who knows and I just can't remember but like certain things I've seen before in Goosebumps stories. Not these exact same things, but, well, I don't want to spoil anything, so let's just keep it at that. Anyway, I quite enjoyed reading this, this book, well, these short stories, I should say. They were quite creepy. Yeah, I think I personally liked the first story the most. Um, it was also really nice to read the origin story of Slappy. Um, because he, he is kind of iconic for Goosebumps. And yeah, I like that they all kind of had that Goosebumps feel with like a twisty end and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it was a good read. Um, I guess for an adult, maybe uh, not as scary as it would be for a kid. But I'm actually a big fan of children's horror rather than horror for adults. I don't know if I can quite explain that exactly. But anyway... Um, yeah. So, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a nice read. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.